right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the day for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart with similar height and reach. We go inside the Octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 210 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the challenger, Awesome. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua. All right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to do my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? One? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. And they separate. Great punch landed with so much power. That kick blocked by Anthony Joshua. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just out of range with that strike. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. 
whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. And it comes through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Go! Just missed with the left there. Oh my goodness. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Good punch, Lance. Collar tie. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. He is all about that left kick to the body. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Nice kick with the right hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Connects now with the one-two. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Anthony Joshua. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. Oh, straight right. Jab hurt him a little bit. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Huge block there. Big off punch lands. Now we get back to range. Nice head kick. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Big knee. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, they can get the night that one landed right on the spot. Oh, straight right. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh! And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Joshua gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Oh, huge spinning kick. Straight right is there. What a tricky head kick. Big kick lands. Drips the body there. And there comes the separation now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, that's a nice try. Round two is next. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. 
blocks the shot. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this strike. Punch coming, it's blocked. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Going to the body there with the right kick. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't got himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Big kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, collar tie. Uppercut lands. Joshua gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Three minutes to go in round two. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Punch is blocked. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Single collar tie now. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Single collar tie now. <laughs> Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Anthony Joshua. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. I mean, look at the commitment to kick him in this fight. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Switching stances here. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And that's the end of round number two. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good 
at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Working out of that southpaw stance. That's a big strike right there. Throws a big right hand but doesn't find its home. Beautiful body kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to show that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, but even with the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Good punch. Goes back to that left kick once again. Nice leg kick land. They continue to exchange. Still nice body kick land. Right hand gains in the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice punch, man. A oh, little single collar tie there. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Swing and a miss by Josh. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Anthony Josh. Big knee lands there. Oh! He lands, lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got it for very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Ooh, blocks the shot. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, big elbow. And they separate. Man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Anthony Johnson. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Muay Thai plump. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. 30 seconds to go. Joshua gets the takedown late in the round. That's useful. 
Close guard. 15 seconds. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 10 seconds to go in the round. Three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Way to hide that leg kick. The right hand just misses. Ooh, what a punch. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Joshua's uppercut is blocked. to connect there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to... Oh, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him off. The fight's done. Oh, here comes the kick. That one point. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Back to the feet now. As he gets close, when he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no. His opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. Beautiful strike. Because you don't know when that leg keeps coming. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. 
And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 35 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations to the still UFC.